Uh, back in 2004, um, you know, getting ready to start spring practice, um, we had actually just finished a light run, and uh, we had the, the offense was on one side of the field, the defense was on the other side, and I was on the defensive side. Chris uh, Waddell was on the offensive side. So uh, when it happened, I mean, you could hear a lot of commotion uh, behind me, and uh, you know, once we turned around, I, and even when it when I turned around, I wasn't sure what happened because it, uh, we didn't have pads on. It wasn't uh, a, a strenuous workout, and so I, I didn't think much of it. And, uh, and then the commotion got uh, kind of worse and worse and, uh, you know, the medics were there and, and performed CPR and then uh, next thing you know the ambulance was there and they performed CPR there and uh, ended up taking him to the hospital. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's, one of those, uh, it's one of those moments that you won't forget, you know, that uh, as you go through in this profession where you're teaching kids and, uh, and loving kids and to see something happen uh, uh, to that uh, extreme, it, it's very tough. Since March 1st, 2005, exactly one year after he passed away, the Northwestern State football program recognizes Chris Waddell Day every year on the anniversary of his passing with a series of activities at schools and community centers around the Natchitoches area. One of those events included a visit to the NSU Elementary Lab School, where defensive coordinator Brad Laird and a number of active players spoke with third through fifth graders about peer pressure and the importance of education before answering their curious questions about sports, life, and college. Do they like playing football? No. They better say yes. <laughs> All of these children look up to the athletes of Northwestern, and um, so it means a lot for them to be able to um, to come to our school and to be leaders, to show how they're leaders on campus, and to be an example for our students. They talk about the character traits that Chris Waddell had and what made him such a good leader, and we talk to our students constantly about being leaders and about making good choices and about what it takes to be um, a productive citizen, and so I hope that they take that same information from these players. I had to face peer pressure and all that and I dealt with that a lot and when coach came to us and said who would like to speak on the peer pressure I thought that was uh, good for me to speak on because I, I want to always be a great role model and leader so it, I really try my best to uh, do, this, do so. You know, I believe in Chris Waddell he gave up you know his whole life he loved football as a person and you know that's one thing uh, many people can't do is give up their life to do one thing and you know just do anything and it's helped me to realize you know there's so many more important things to do in life than just care about myself there's you know giving and caring about others is pretty important it's a chance for us to come out and and reach out to the community and let them know uh, the dream that Chris Waddell had the uh, the belief that he had in what he was doing and and the decisions that he made were the correct ones and and what he meant to this community, what he meant to this football team, uh, what he meant as a person. Me being a part of it, me being there, me knowing Chris, uh, it's special for me each year to, to be able to come out and reach out to the community because that's what Chris would love.